I'm not going to lie, I've always found penguins funny. There's a reason why they're known as flightless birds. One day, two penguin brothers walked across Antarctica. They weren't looking where they were walking, so they stepped on a landmine. They fell to the ground, dead. A crowd gathered around their bodies. Their parents looked at each other and started crying. I'm glad penguins can't fly. This joke starts with the sentence, I'm not going to lie, I've always found penguins funny. This immediately sets the tone for the rest of the joke as it implies that the person writing the joke thinks penguins are funny. However, the next line makes no mention of whether or not the writer likes them. Therefore, the joke relies solely on the assumption that the person reading it finds penguins amusing too. There's a reason why they're known as flightless birds, says the author continuing on to explain why they can't fly. At this moment, the audience should be expecting the punchline. However, they'll soon realize they won't get one. Instead, the author continues on to tell a short story about penguins. One day, two penguin brothers walked across Antarctica. They weren't looking where they were walking, so they stepped on a landmine. At this point, the audience might feel confused. Surely, this isn't what they were waiting for. However, the joke goes on. They fell to the ground dead, and the crowd gathered around their bodies. Their parents looked at each other and started crying. I'm glad penguins can't fly. After telling us the whole sad tale of the penguins, the author finishes by saying that he's glad that penguins can't fly. As the audience reads the joke, they must question why the author felt the need to share a story about two penguins. Was he just trying to fill space? Does he enjoy talking about penguins? Did he forget to come up with a punchline and decided to just keep going? Perhaps it was a mistake? Maybe the author just wanted to talk about penguins and he went overboard. Whatever the case may be, it definitely feels forced and doesn't fit well within the context of the joke. In conclusion, this joke has some interesting ideas but ultimately falls flat due to poor execution and confusing narrative structure. <laughs>